competition is fierce in the frozen yogurt industry. 16 Handles is one popular franchise relishing in some success, surviving what's been called the Froyo bubble. Now the company is expanding the brand, yes, into breakfast. Joining us now to explain all of that here at Post 9 is Solomon Choi, 16 Handles founder and CEO. Welcome. Thanks for having me. There seems to be a Froyo place on every quarter. How big is this industry today? This industry today is about a $2 billion industry. It's grown tremendously over the last five years, about 22% compound annual growth with about another 3.5% for the next five years. Wow. I, all right, be honest with us for a second. We've seen so many new locations. I mean, literally everywhere. It was uh, Real estate costs must be going up. Everyone's been declaring for years that this can't continue and it's a Froyo bubble. Has it been tough for you? Is that all just talk or is business booming? You know, the, the business continues to grow. It has been challenging. We've been faced with things like increasing rent, um, increased labor costs, as well as some adverse uh, winters. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we came out here to create a lifestyle brand, and I think that we're able to uh, succeed because of that. You know, one of the things I've wondered, I, I frequent one of your locations here in the city with my kids, is it, it obviously because it's serve yourself, I just wonder what the volume constraints are. In other words, it can get crowded, it can be slow just because of the nature of it. people want to spend time serving themselves. So does that mean you could have more locations without cannibalizing yourself, or is there limits to how much each location can do? You know, there's certainly a limit at some point, uh, but we found that we're not oversaturated in the marketplace yet. Hmm. I think a lot of competitors have made it seem that way, but uh, yeah. they're starting to fall off. So, so talk about this breakfast thing, because what's interesting is you are a season, very seasonal business, and it's also a very sort of time-sensitive business. There's a certain time of day when you want frozen yogurt. What is in your breakfast? How are you going to sell that? And how, what's the synergy with yogurt? So the idea behind breakfast was we kind of changed the game by being the first self-serve frozen dessert brand in New York City in 2008. And we want to change the way people approach breakfast in the same way. Our real opportunity is really between the morning hours until early afternoon. Most of our stores don't open until noon, but we're paying rent 24 hours a day. So what this does is it, it, uh, it adds an opportunity for us to really approach breakfast in a smart, do-it-yourself way. So what are you serving? We're serving things like hot oatmeal, acai bowl. All uh, you can eat? Well, not all you can eat, but do, serve, I mean, can you get serve all you can make. For breakfast? Serve if I wanted Froyo for breakfast, could I have it? You could. Okay. Yeah, we're certainly not eliminating frozen yogurt, but we felt that most people are probably going to gravitate Why towards something Why can't I healthier. combine? Okay, you have 16 handles, but I can't do a swirl. So if you've got, like, birthday cake on over here and you chocolate over here, yeah. you have to do a self-swirl. Yes, you cannot true. push a button in the middle and get the swirl. Right. Well, that's really funny because when we first started in 2008, somebody actually called us out on Yelp saying we had 24 handles because of the swirl. <laughs> so we removed that because you technically have access to all 16 flavors. I don't know. 24 sounds pretty good to you me. You can swirl yourself. And do you, have <laughs> coffee, do you have coffee all day or, you, or at all? We have coffee all day as well. Oh, you coffee do? Okay, and tea. And how is that test doing, that breakfast test that you have it's, now? It's gaining it? momentum. It's only been about three weeks, but week over week we're seeing an increase in, uh, in, in traction. And we think that, again, we're, it's, it's going to be a process trying to change people's behavior in the morning. But uh, to do it in a fun way and in a healthy way that's delicious, I think people will... Uh, I'd like to people it. to know we have seen a Froyo bubble before. That's part of the reason people are on alert. It happened in the 90s. That was sort of the glory days for Froyo. Uh, and then it corrected. I, I'm not saying it has to do with the dot-com bubble, but there are some similarities. How do you know this industry won't see a similar period again? Or maybe to your point about competitors closing, it is. So what do you do that sets you apart and makes sure you're going to succeed? So again, rather than being focused just on being a frozen yogurt brand, we really want to be a, a snack and dessert brand. And I think there's always going to be room for there for growth. The reason we're doing breakfast is not to see how much more frozen yogurt we can sell, but really how else can we be relevant throughout all day parts. We've also curated uh, some great beverages and worked with some uh, awesome uh, partners like Kind and uh, Sahale and some other uh, grab-and-go snacks that we found are gaining traction as well. So, so to your point, you're building a lifestyle brand here. Absolutely. It's more than just a... I have a question. Company still private? Any, uh, any thoughts of changing that? Company's still private right now. Uh, we get asked a lot, uh, but we're one of the few that are still growing uh, steadily. You know, we had our first international agreement with a group in the Middle East, 150 stores, wow. and we have four other international huh. deals that are in, in works right now. And so we're going to continue growing, and we'll see what happens from there. You're still just a fraction of the total ice cream industry. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, Solomon Choi, thank you so much for being. I want you to think about the twist in the middle, bringing it <laughs> and back. And bring, bring yogurt next time. Come on, where is it? <laughs> they had some apparently back at headquarters. Really appreciate you being.